shit. Chevy beat the block up like a heavyweight. Big dog, LS88 tripping with candy cane pressure. This a Corvette motor, you ain't trying to race. Goes all in my mouth, tattoos on my face. Cause I'm from Canton, Canton. This that Canton. That's just how we do it. What's up, YouTube? What's up? What's up? Canton Customs, Canton Mafia. What's going on? What's going on? So I just want to check in with y'all real quick, let y'all know what's going on with the Black Beauty build. Everybody's asking me, where's Black Beauty coming? When's Black Beauty coming? Well, listen, when you put 30-inch rims with big lips, big lips on a box Chevy, I just want to let you know, be prepared to put in that work. You know what I'm saying? front end back end all that you know it's a lot of fabrication that goes on to a build like that so it ain't just as easy as just throwing the 30s on and riding and go um i've had 26s 28s on box chevys throw and go throw them on there and go 28s you know it's a little modifying you got to do not too awful much but a little modifying but when you get into the big wheels and the big lips, uh, let me rephrase that, the big lips, and you change that offset, guess what happens, guys? You know what happens? You ain't got no more room <laughs> down there. So you gotta make some room. So, cause you gonna end up either hitting the fender or you gonna hit the frame. So you gotta shorten the rear end. Well, I got big lips on my 30 inch Rucci Epics, man. And what I gotta do now is I gotta shorten the rear end, okay? You gotta shorten the rear end. I'm gonna throw some gears in it. And on top of that, we are gonna do a frame notch. Yeah, we are gonna do a frame notch too. Because I wanna throw even wider wheels on here later one day. And I don't want nothing during the build process to uh, prevent me from throwing even wider wheels on here later. So. If you go past a five inch lip on any custom rims, I don't care what they are, you're gonna have to do some modifications, especially on big 30s. You hear me, big 30s. So you're gonna have to do some modifications. So I am gonna take you through this journey. I'm gonna shorten this rear end. We shortening the, this rear end two inches and it's gonna be kind of a mock rear end uh, until I get a Ford 9 inch or a Ford 8.8. I ain't made up my mind yet of which one I'm gonna do, but then I already have the measurements on it. But this will be able to get Black Beauty on her feet the right way. You know what I'm saying? Get her on her feet. And that's what we want. So we can pull her out before the end of the year. Let y'all see her at the car show. She is not done. She is not complete. I went through LS swaps, paint, uh, custom fabrication for these 30s. A lot of stuff Black Beauty has went through and on top of that i've been building other people's cars and putting mine off for the customers and that's what i'll continue to do i'm always gonna do the customers first right now we got uh taze ls box chevy candy painted orange it's at the interior shop we're waiting on uh the homie to get through with that and uh always i'm gonna make sure the customers are first so i've been kind of slow and procrastinating just a little bit on black beauty just a little bit i mean i've been buying things here and there but you know i haven't put my focus on it. i've been focusing on everybody else's but i am gonna try to go hard and, and get to scary fast if i'm not able to get there um all i can do is say hey guys y'all know how it is man when you uh building a custom car so it ain't as easy as as it seems and on youtube sometimes they show you before and after and they don't show you everything in between so i want to show y'all the raw the bad the ugly so let me get this camera turned around and let y'all see it so there we go man we got the uh stock rear end off right there of black beauty that's what she looked like right there just a little seven and a half rear end this is not what i'm going to continue to stay with this is just a temporary until i can get an 8 8 or a 9 and get that pressure that i want you know what i'm talking about but Right now, what we're doing is mocking up the width for the Rucci Epic 30s. Right now, with this rear end, we're gonna put some gears in it. It's gonna be fine for right now while I'm building the nine inch or the 8.8. So that's what the deal is. And that's what we're gonna do. 
but we're probably gonna go 8.8 .8 or a full nine inch. I ain't made up my mind yet, but right now, this is the before picture of the old Black Beauty rear end, and I'm gonna stay tuned with y'all so y'all can see the uh, what it's gonna look like after we get done shortening. Okay, we're gonna take two inches off on the east side. We have Rucci Epics with a big lip. So we're gonna take two inches off of this rear end on the east side. I'm going down and uh, we're gonna put some gears in there and then we're gonna catch back up with y'all and show y'all what it looks like when we're done. Of course, we're gonna clean it up and make it look better. You know, it's been sitting. So we will get back with y'all on this next episode. So um, just stay tuned and we'll catch back up with y'all when it's short. What's up, what's up, what's up? Ken 10 Customs, Ken 10 Mafia. Just checking back in, so just telling y'all about the rear end. I'm on my way. Y'all vlogging with Ken 10 right now to uh, Ridgely, Tennessee, man. I'm on my way to Ridgely, Tennessee. Gonna go get this rear end short and real quick for Black Beauty, man. But yeah, like I said, if uh, with 30 inch rims and big lips, it's a whole lot whole different story even 26 inch rims with big lips 24 28 just big rims with big lips but it makes it a little bit more challenging with the 30s i'm not gonna lie to you for simplicity purposes uh if you just want rims to just throw and go i just want to help out some people that don't know you know um you want to stay at a five inch lip or under five inches or under is what you want to stay at in the back in the front of course, if you're running staggered, you know, you're good. You're pretty good, you know. So, but everybody likes that staggered look, you know, with the big deep dish pizzas in the back. I know I do. So, I'm doing whatever I gotta do to get them rims on Black Beauty. So, it's not a throw and a go. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. It's not throw and go, you know what I'm saying? And when you build the LS motor, and all this that and the third you don't want to have a rear end with no pressure it's gonna hold no pressure so like i said like y'all heard me say that i've got my standard rear end on the box chevy we're short and basically using it for measurement purposes we are going to throw some gearing in there though you know just to have a rear end as a mock-up rear end for later too you know for other builds you know i'm gonna have it now you know um until I can get an 8.8 .8 or a 9. Uh, tell me some advantages. Uh, I'm a Chevy guy all the way through and through. So I need some of you Ford guys to get in the comments and tell me the advantages of a 9 inch Ford rear end or an 8.8, .8, okay? Uh, versus maybe some other rear ends, maybe 10s, 12s, whatever Chevys, you know. Tell me, tell me what the advantages is, you know, so. I know I can get a nine inch Ford rear end ready to go two inches shorter for about $3,500. I can tell y'all that right now. And that's a nine inch. So what's some of the advantages and disadvantages? Y'all car guys, y'all gotta let me know what's up. Um, but right now I'm just trying to get Black Beauty at the car shows, get her back on her feet, let her, let her so she can air out, you know, so. Right now, I'm just trying to get her active. You know what I mean? Cause she's been sitting too long, and I don't like her. I don't like when Black Beauty sits. But something else I don't like is road construction, and that's what I'm going through right now. Road construction on this highway. So, yeah, man. Big shout out to Swats Performance again uh, for coming and dropping the rear end. He helped me put some tubular control arms up at the top. Drove three hours again to uh, come see me on a Sunday. Swaps, big ups to Swaps Performance as always. Please uh, go over to Swaps Performance channel, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And he's got a lot of fire content coming with his own builds, uh, some customer builds, and with your boy Ken 10 Customs. We got some pressure coming because I don't know when that you hear me yell a whistle gang. So, best believe if anybody puts a whistle on my car it's gonna be whistle gang himself swaps performance so 
yeah man i just want to catch up with y'all and let y'all know what's going on with black beauty because everybody's been asking about her and i appreciate it too i really appreciate that y'all want to see black beauty but you know my standards are really high when it comes to my own builds and the customer builds so it's about the same i want the highest standard possible so i just don't want to bring it out halfway on y'all you know but everybody's wanting to see it i'm probably going to be at about maybe 90 percent but less <laughs> So uh, maybe it's scary fast. I give y'all that much of it, you know. Um, but that's all I can do right now at this moment because I've been focusing on everything else. So. Plus, I'm trying to find a bigger shop, you know, to get into. Uh, be nice. I've been trying and trying every day. I text about this one shop. It's got five A's in it, and it used to have about four or five lifts in it. And I've been texting every day, trying to buy it, rent it, lease it, whatever I can do. But I guess the lady just ain't ready to come off of it. So it's just been sitting empty for years, which is it's sad to see a shop, a big old shop, just sitting like that for years. But oh well, I can't force it. If not that shop, it'll be a next shop. But we got to have something bigger to do more things. We got bigger and better things coming. And anything that has to do with a car, I want it to be a one-stop shop. Rims, tires, tent, everything, wrap, all that, all of the above. And I want to be able to show y'all that, you know. So, that's what I'm, I'm gearing towards and that's what I'm trying to get to. So, um, y'all pray for me, man. Make sure that, you know, maybe we can get there, bro. Yeah, I just wanted to check in with y'all. I'm on my way to Ridgely, Tennessee. Drop off this rear end. We're going to do a little chop, 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 chop on it. Put some new gears in it. Uh, new axles. And then the Mosier axles, too, by the way. We're going to throw in there. Throw in some gears. And some gears. So uh, we will uh, catch back with y'all on this video when it's already been chopped up. You know what I mean? Or I might just drop this one and then drop it back when drop y'all the other one whenever I can pick it up. But neither there or there, you know what I mean? We all come and I just want to give y'all an update. Black Beauty, I'm ready to, to have Black Beauty just as much as y'all ready to see Black Beauty at these car shows in person instead of on these cameras. So uh, trust me, I'm ready just as much as y'all is for Black Beauty. So. As always, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Stay humble, stay respectful. Uh, talk things into existence. Like Really Rails was saying yesterday on the live, Fly by G Money's live. Talk everything into existence. You want to be the next millionaire and wake up every day, like he said, him and Jen talk about it. They say, I want, I'm gonna have a million subscribers and I'm the next millionaire. We the next millionaire, because there's a couple, you know? So it inspired me last night. So I, every day now, when I wake up, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna say the same thing. I want a million subscribers, and I want to be the next millionaire. Why not? So you know, it's a good, it's good to talk things into existence. You know, especially when uh, that's what you want to do because you want to be able to help and bless other people. So that's what I want to do. I want to be able to bless people. So I got a couple of cars that I want to build for people in general, special for people and of course you can't just build things and gift things or, uh, without money financial gain so we got to be able to get there so once I get there that's what something I'm gonna do is you know I would like to bless people you know with car building so I don't know we'll get there one day get on my chip foods one day you know what I'm talking about but yeah like share comment and subscribe stay up stay humble stay respectful all of the above Kente Mafia, we out. What's going on, you two? Kente Customs back at it again. We just dropped off the rear end with Ricky, man. And we're getting it cut down. We're putting them gears in that junk. It's gonna be positive traction when we done with it. And, uh, you know, it's gonna be ready for them dirty 30s, them Rucci Gang, Rucci Gangs. You know what they say you gotta pay to play you gotta pay to play so we just dropped off the bands over there get that rear end shortened and uh hopefully within a week or so we'll be ready to go you know um 
then move on to the next episode of Black Beauty. So, yeah, we just dropped it off. So I'm gonna keep y'all connected the whole time during this rear end shortening process. Um, so when we get it done and said and done, I'm gonna show y'all some videos of how it looked. Y'all got to see before, you get to see the after, and uh, we'll go from there. And then also I'll bring you for the install. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this first part. This is gonna be part one of uh, rear end shortening for Black Beauty for the Ruchi 30s. So rear end shortening part one. I'm gonna drop this video. Y'all stay tuned for part two because it'll be very, very soon. Get to like, share, comment, and subscribe and go to www.kentincustoms.com and pick you up all this fire ass merch. Pressure! All 2021, you hear me? Alright, squad.